How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, we take a brief look at 14.7 Beta 2. What's up guys, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. Apple released iOS 14.7 Beta 2 to developers yesterday, and with it comes, well, not a whole lot, but that's to be expected given the fact that iOS 15 is just a couple of days away. And that of course is what we're all waiting for. But in the meantime, Apple has released 14.7 beta 2 and you definitely want to be aware of an issue with this beta. Now, obviously with all betas, there's a chance that things can go a little left, right? Well, this is one of those instances where some users are experiencing a SIM failure message right after installing the update, but it's not just that message. They're actually not able to make or receive calls or use cellular data on their iPhone after this update. Now, this is mainly affecting users with eSIMs apparently. So if you're an iPhone user that is using an eSIM instead of a physical SIM, you definitely want to keep that in mind. And actually, I just really recommend holding off on this update given this error just to be on the safe side. Now, let's talk about what's new in 14.7 beta 2. And there, like I said, there's not a whole lot here, but here we go. Here's our about section in the general section of settings. You can see I'm running 14.7. If we tap on the software version, we can get the build number, which is 18G5033E if you're taking score at home. So let's talk about the main new feature within this beta and it relates directly to the HomePod. So if you're running the latest HomePod beta, you're gonna be able to take advantage or see this new update. And of course, I am running the latest beta for the HomePod on all my HomePods in my home. Wow, that was a tongue twister. But the new feature that Apple added in 14.7 is the ability to create timers for the HomePod within the Home app. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that right now. What's different in this beta, however, is that Apple has replaced the placeholders that were present in the initial beta with updated headings and such. So it, it's just a lot better looking this time around. So here we go, there's the new timer section right below alarms in the home app. Here's how it looked on the initial beta, you see that? So you had the timer, you had all these placeholders, HU new timer, HU start timer, HU time label placeholder. You even have placeholders for the hours minutes and seconds as well. But here in beta two, you can see those placeholders are a thing of the past. Now you have a really nice looking interface for adding new timers to the HomePod. So let's go ahead and do so right now. So you can add hours, minutes, and seconds as well. Obviously I'm not gonna do hours here, but we're gonna set seven minutes and 30 seconds, how about that? And then you can give your timer a label. That's not mandatory. You can just set a generic timer if you want to. Oh, try to use quick type, that didn't work too well. Let's try it again. There we go, hot dog, hot dogs. How about that? So seven minutes, 30 seconds on the grill. Is that really how long it takes to cook a hot dog? I don't know. Kind of shows where, <laughs> where my uh, grilling skills are right about now. Um, yeah, so anyway, you can see the timers there. You see the label. You see the, the time counting down and you also see the play pause button and you see that little circular, like little glyph icon there. That circle actually moves to correspond with how much time is remaining relative to the initial time set. So as you can see, slowly moving as you get closer and closer to zero for that seven minute and 30 second timer. You can also tap the X to delete the timer let me show you another way to delete timers. So I'm gonna quick, quickly create one here again, and you can just swipe like that to delete a timer as well. Let's quickly create another, seven minutes, 30 seconds, start, there we go. So now we're gonna add some additional timers. The nice thing about this, of course, is that you can keep on adding timers. You can have multiple timers right here on your HomePod. So these are not timers that are on your iPhone, but these are on your HomePod. And as I'm gonna show you here in a second, you can interact with your HomePod and vice versa and see the updates in real time. So let's add a few more timers, marinate wings. Those are gonna be some really good wings, man. Look at all that time. All right, so you can see they are in chronological order, hot dogs, the least amount of time, burgers, and of course, marinate wings. Now, again, you can see the little circle icons there counting down with the relative position Let's add another timer and let's add a, a very short timer and see where it's placed in the list. A brew coffee, two minutes, should be at the top, and it is because it's the quickest timer 
the one with the least amount of time. So again, chronological order, nice for keeping it all laid out properly. All right, so here is our HomePod, and now we're gonna interact with it, so let's do it. How much time is left on the burgers timer? Burgers timer, with about eight minutes to go. Uh, I mean, I guess that's close enough. <laughs> Siri's kind of slacking there, let's try it again. How much time remaining on my marinate wings timer? Marinate wings timer with four hours, 58 minutes and 45 seconds to go. That's a lot more accurate. How much longer on the brew coffee timer? Brew coffee timer with one minute and 10 seconds to go. Okay. Cancel the burgers timer. Burgers timer canceled. And you can see it updates right there in real time on our home app. Add a burgers timer for six minutes. Six minute burgers timer counting down. So not only can you cancel, you can also create timers and it updates. Add a potato salad timer for 25 minutes. 25 minute potato salad timer starting now. I mean, what am I waiting for? I guess to cool off, I guess, yeah. Cancel my hot dogs timer. Hot dogs timer canceled. Delete all timers. You have four timers running. Are you sure you wanna cancel them? Yes. Canceled. So that is a look at the new timers feature in iOS 14.7 with the updated labels. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Thumbs up if you appreciated this video. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.